everybody, this is Natalie and welcome back to my channel. Oh look how cute. Today's video is going to be how I kit up a diamond painting. Now this diamond painting was ordered off of AliExpress. I do kit these up just a little bit differently than I would, let's say, Diamond Art Club or Diamond Dots, which I will show you how I do that in another video. But for diamond paintings I get from other companies, such as AliExpress, I kit these up just a little bit differently, which I'm gonna show you how I do that. So what I've done is I've taken the diamond painting, I've scanned the key, printed it out on a piece of paper along with the picture. So I can use this as my key because it's depending on how I'm working on my diamond painting, like this one I'm actually gonna do on my lap desk. Um, this may get hidden, so at least I have something to look at. The key wasn't very clear, so it's gonna be a little bit interesting trying to figure out these symbols here, but we'll get it figured out, not a big deal. Um, so the first thing that I do is I pick this up at Michael's. I got it for 40% off, so I believe it ended up being like $7. It has exactly 30 jars, and my diamond painting has exactly 30 colors. So this is gonna be a great container to use for my diamonds. And then I'm just gonna use my Classic Brothers label maker to make the labels for the jars. So let me go ahead and get that part done and I will be right back. Okay, so I've got all the labels printed. Now I just have to cut them and place them on the jars. And how I do that, I start at the top. So the very first one on my key is gonna be 154. So I go down here to 154 and I'm gonna cut it. Then I want it, of course, to fit on my jar. So I'm just gonna trim it. These come apart in the middle like this, so it makes it very easy to peel them off. And then I've got 154. So I'm gonna place that in here. The next one on my key is gonna be 164. So I grab my labels. like that. All right, let's do one more. The next one we're going to do is going to be 169. Now, if the diamonds had come in individual bags that were already labeled, I probably would just use the bags. I wouldn't go ahead and put them into a system like this. But this one did come in the individual bags, 169. And then I just put them in numerical order in my case. So let me go ahead and finish putting all the numbers on here and I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back and I've got all my jars labeled now. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna cut open the bags and put the diamonds in the jars. These jars hold about three packages of diamonds. So we'll grab a couple of them and see. I pretty much have them in order in my bag, but um, we will see. All right, so we'll go here. It looks like we've got 164 I pulled out. So I'm gonna pull out 164 out of my jar. These are round diamonds. I just pour them right into my jar. And there you go. See, the next one I have is 169. Pull out my jar. Another thing I'll do too is I'll pour them into one of my trays like a tray like this, and I'll just pour them in there. 
so it kind of gives me a little funnel. And then I'll just pour them into my jar. Makes it, you know, a little bit easier as well. Okay, let's do one more here. Let's see. So it looks like 38.34. I have quite a few packages of those and I know the jar's only gonna hold three of them, so we'll just do three of them. And we'll get 38.34 right here. Got some spares, 169 floating out. So far the diamonds are really nice. They're not staticky, they're not oily, they don't stink. You know what, I think these bags are larger than our normal bags that have the 200 because that is just one bag. I don't even think I'll get two bags in there to be honest with you, we'll see. But these bags are a little bit fuller than your average small package that you normally get yeah see it's not gonna let me put it all in there so that's good to know that these actually hold more than those little packages do so I'm guessing these probably have 400 in them versus 200 in the little or packs so that way I'll just keep these other extras aside until I run low and then I can fill up more in my jar. So there's that. So let's close the lid up on that. A nice full jar. All right, so let me go ahead and finish filling up these diamonds. If I run into any problems, I'll come back and let you know. All right, so I've got all the diamonds placed into their containers. So that's all good to go. So yeah, the diamonds definitely have 400 diamonds per pack instead of 200. So I was only able to get one pack of each in the container. So I'm all set, ready to go for my diamond painting. Here are the extras, so when I run out, I'll come over here and get some more. And then here's my lap desk that I'll be using. It, um, I purchased this off of Amazon. And then it... Um, opens up and then it has a little thing on the back and then you can just set it up to whatever angle you want. I usually do the highest angle. And then I've got the A3 light pad. And I just put that on top of there. Now I've not done a diamond painting this large on my lap desk, but I think it's going to be okay. It's only 40 inches wide, excuse me, 40 centimeters wide. So I think I'm going to be okay. It looks like he's going to stay up there. He's not going to bend over. I can just do a little, like a four by four square at a time and then just be able to move him along. And then, um, I'll be able to work, you know, all the way up to here. You can't see that. Let me back you up a little bit here. Okay, so I took you off of the tripod so I could give you a full shot of what I'm dealing with here. So like I had mentioned, I can do a four by four square and move along the bottom. I could probably even get up to about here. And then what I could do is just flip him over like that and then finish working on this side. So I think that'll be pretty easy to do on my lap desk. And then I'll have my little tray of goodies. Um, I have scissors and a tray and I have a couple different pens and wax and a pill separator, some clippies, that kind of stuff. So yeah, I'll be all set up and ready to roll with this guy. So there you have it. Kidding up Jason Momoa. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching and subscribing. Stay crafty, my friends, and I'll see you in my next video.